It meant a lot of people helped me. Uh, all the people around me were very instrumental in that. My families, uh, the assistant coaches uh, have uh, like eight guys now are Division One coaches. They were all very special in all of this. And without them, of course, I wouldn't have done it. And the players, and then the people that helped me at Purdue, the secretaries and the weight coaches and the trainers. So it had a lot to do with the people around me. I always cherished uh, my relationship with my staff. Coach, there was some talk about the uh, decrease in quality of play in the NCAA tournament and college basketball in general this season. Uh, has the quality of play uh, gone down, in your opinion? Who did that, Vital? I think it was uh, Mike uh, Greenberg on ESPN. Ah, he's full of it. Uh, <laughs> did Mike ever play? Uh, I don't think so. He was a Northwestern student that booed me. <laughs> he did. He sat up in the crowd and booed me when he was there. So. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think the players are better now. Uh, the one thing that I'm not really high on is the AAU fact that you can lose three games in a row and you don't have to go home and work on fundamentals. That's my only disagreement I have with AAU. If you lose three games, you should go home and work on fundamentals for a week and get better. And that's the only thing I would say that they need to work on. The players have to learn how to do the fundamentals correctly. And uh, Basketball is a game of habit, and you got to do it over and over and over, just like in golf. Golf uh, is muscle memory, so you have to be able to execute passing and rebounding and dribbling and getting down in a stance and those sort of things. And that doesn't happen overnight. You have to execute it with a lot of practice. Okay. Well, maybe he wanted him to transfer. You know. <laughs> Maybe they weren't good enough. I don't know the circumstances, so I can't say much about it. So uh, I would hate to say they left the program because they were going to play a lot, you know. So it's one of those things where don't know what the circumstances was, can't criticize it. I love Matt Painter. He's one of my favorite players at, at Purdue, and he's been a great coach there. So I don't understand what's going on there because I don't know what they were thinking and why they were transferring. Uh, you know, anytime a game when I was coaching, the referees were always bad. <laughs> <laughs> but really, the referees that I work now are very good friends of mine. They're all very friendly at all the timeouts. It's like, hey, you're so nice to Lavin. You weren't that way towards me. What's wrong with you guys? He said, well, we really liked you, but we didn't want to act like it. So it was one of those things where the referees have been special people to me all my life. But, uh, no, I don't see any difference. I was surprised that he wasn't drafted sooner. You know, I thought that he should have been drafted his first year out of Purdue. Uh, I think there were some people that kind of blackballed him. I don't know who they were, but they evidently kept him down. Then once he got the USA team uh, experience and went overseas a little bit, he got everybody's attention and came back and proved what he really was could do. So it didn't surprise me when he played in the NBA. I thought he was always good enough, too.